They're playing baseball in St. Petersburg, but for how much longer? The Northeast Little League is thousands of dollars in debt tonight, and the clock is ticking. They say there's no crying in baseball, but try telling that to the parents of these little leaguers who are now feeling cheated out of nearly $35,000 by a sports management company. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard attended one of those Little League games in St. Petersburg tonight. He joins us live with the story of this real-life cash crunch on the families. What happened to all this money, Peter? Well, the name of that sports management company is called Jevin, and they're having an economic crisis of their own. I'm told the company they use for banking has frozen its accounts, and because of that, it's affecting the Little League that plays right behind me. Two weeks into the fall baseball season, and Northeast Little League is finding itself in a financial slump. A company called Jevin is holding back payments collected from fees to the tune of almost $35,000. Parents are outraged. I mean, I've spent many hours sweating in that concession stand, so it's upsetting, to say the least. The lack of funds is putting a real crimp on league activity. We have, you know, almost 300 kids playing baseball here in the fall, and we owe thousands of dollars to local, you know, printers and t-shirt people and landscape people and you know we, we, we owe a lot of money. Eight on your side contacted the owner of Jevin. Dan Patak tells me his credit card processor froze his account. We're trying to do some temporary short-term things and we've discussed that with Northeast Little League Forks and Treasurer. Right. We're kind of caught in the middle and we're at the mercy of the merchant bank releasing the question. Do you buy his explanation? It doesn't really matter what their explanation is. I mean, somewhere between Mr. Patak and the credit card company, the funds are not here. <laughs> and we have a league to run. In the meantime, parents are pitching in through a GoFundMe account. As for Jevin and the missing cash, St. Petersburg cops tell me they don't believe there is any criminal wrongdoing. And the owner of Jevin insists there is no fraud going on here, and he says this all stems from a run on refunds at a youth football organization back in Utah. However, he says he has no idea when he's going to be able to come up with that cash. Keith? Really is kind of a squeeze play on these family members. At $35,000 lost, how much of this uh, GoFundMe account, how much is that raised? Yeah, the goal is $40,000. So far, they've raised almost $6,000. And the good news there is that was just in one day. These parents are coming up to the plate. All right, Peter Bernard live in St. Petersburg tonight. Thanks, Peter.